I said this earlier and I'll say it again. I invented myself, Lady Gaga. I curated my life to be an expression of my pain. This is how I overcame my depression, is by creating somebody that I felt was stronger than me. But once I went through all, all sorts of changes, my career taking off, becoming more isolated, you know, nothing was able to fix how I was genetically made. I was born this way. So how do we now, knowing all of that, no matter how much success you have, no matter how many opportunities, fame, fortune, no matter how many people uh, accept you to your face, the person that really needs to accept you is you. I have um, some sort of anxiety, depression, something that's changed my whole life. I, uh, I take antidepressant medication for it. I have tried to get off of it. My doctor always tells me not to that it's not safe for me to. Whenever I've tried to, I've gotten very uh, neurotic, manic, sick. Uh, so I have had to study all different types of ways. Uh, but I was thinking to myself, why is it that I have to dig into all these different areas to figure out how to function? Why don't, like, there's no way that I have at my fingertips as a, you know, public figure, uh, it's, not, it's no, not possible that I have the resources uh, that other kids have. So this is not fair. Uh, I started looking into Ayurvedic medicine. I started looking into uh, mindfulness and meditation. I started uh, looking into a mantra. I do acupuncture. I do cupping. I, uh, I uh, pray sometimes. I uh, make music. I write poetry. I, I'm an actress now. That's helped me a lot. Um, but so these are the things that uh, I, I started to do. But what uh, helped me the most that I want to impress upon all of you is that I realize that part of my identity is saying no to things I don't want to do. And you are all in school and you all have a lot of teachers and a lot of people around you that tell you all day what you have to do, but it is your right to choose what you do and don't do. It is your right to choose what you believe in and what you don't believe in. It is your right to curate your life and your own perspective. You are not here to be a puppet for Yale. That's not what they want. Am I wrong? <laughs> I have had to make decisions like, why am I unhappy? OK, okay S S Stephanie Gaga hybrid person, <laughs> why are you unhappy? Why is it that you want to quit music a couple years ago? And I was like, well, I really don't like selling these you know, uh, fragrances perfumes. I don't like uh, wasting my time spending days just shaking people's hands and smiling and taking selfies. It feels shallow to my existence. I have a lot more to offer than my image. I don't like being used to make people money. I uh, feel s sad when uh, I'm overworked and that I just become a money-making machine and that my passion and my creativity take a back seat. That makes me unhappy. So what did I do? I started to say, no, I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that. I'm not taking that picture. I'm not going to that event. I'm not standing by that because that's not what I stand for. And slowly but surely, I remembered who I am. And then you go home and you look in the mirror and you're like, yes, I can go to bed with you every night. Because that person, I know that person. That person has balls. That person has integrity. That person has an opinion. That person does, doesn't say yes. That person doesn't get a text from somebody and say, oh my god, they wrote this, and um, they sent this emoji. Should I write this back? What do you think? Is that OK to say? Are they going to like me if I say that? Should I say something different? This is, this, the, this is the age that we live in. We're not actually communicating with each other. We are unconsciously communicating lies that I check in with myself throughout the day. And I say, do I really want to do this? And if the answer is no, I don't do it. And you shouldn't either.